Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can share the search queries and search filters with other team members in your project. So in order to share the search queries or filter, the first thing is you have to learn how to query the issues or the test cases or different type of issues within the project or within multiple projects. So to search the issues, it's uh, simple. Just go to the uh, issues at the top and click on search for issues. So at the moment, you are at uh, the basic search option for all the projects. So by default, all the project, all issue type, status, and assignee is selected. So if you want to filter a specific type of issue with particular status, then you can um, change the details from the drop down so i'll select mumba project and i'll select the type as bug and test cases and i'll say status as just uh, open ones all right now as you can see that currently there are nine issues um, among which six are the test cases and three are the defects so for example you want to share all the open test cases and um, defects with some of the team members is so you can write that particular filter uh, using the drop down and click on the share button at the top right hand corner so once you click on the share it will share this uh, filter link with the person that you specify in the username or email field so you can specify the email as well or uh, you can specify the user so you, once you start typing the user it will auto populate um, the user details if the user exists in jira otherwise you have to type in the email in order to share this filter link okay um, and if you want to delete the person that you have added you just click on this small icon um, delete icon to delete that person you can also add the note which is an optional field if you want to specify um, particular details you can specify those details in the note and click on share and that will share this particular filter with the team member all right now the second part of this tutorial is how you can save the filter so you have created the filter and you want to save a particular filter uh, for your future reference right so uh, at, at the moment you see that save as option at the top so if you want to save this particular filter then just click on save as and provide the filter name so i'll say all open test cases and bugs for mumba project all right and click on save so now you can see all open test cases and bugs for Mumba project filter has been saved so that is saved and it's available in your favorite filters now if you want to create a new filter just click on new filter here to reset the previous filter and you can start creating the new filter so I want if you want to see all the open issues in all the project you can just select the, um, the status as to do and that will list all the open issues in all of the projects in in the in the jira so you can save that filter as well um, okay so all the filters that you save are available in the favorite filters here so you can see msp bugs or msp all completed issues all open issues so you don't have to write the filters again and again so uh, all the filters which are frequently used by you or by your team uh, it's always good to add those filters and then share those filters within the team so that they can use it um, uh, across across the project and uh, you don't have to write or the team members don't have to write the filters again and again so that is uh, pretty much about how you can write a filter uh, and share the filter among the team. In the next tutorial, we will learn about creating test cycles in Jira. Thank you.